Hello everyone, welcome to V-Ray SketchUp series. In this video, we're going to take a look at the lighting section of the V-Ray for SketchUp plugin. With this plug-in, we have one default light source and that is sunlight. To add a different light, we will use another V-Ray plug-in, the V-Ray lights. In this plug-in, we have 8 types of lights. To add a dome light, just click on its icon and place it on the scene. And this dome light will be added in the light section of our V-Ray Asset Editor. So basically, this is how you create different types of lights to your scene. Let's take a look at our default light source, the sunlight. Let's enable our sunlight by checking this box and render we can still render a scene even if the sunlight is disabled provided that in the settings tab global illumination is enabled so again let's render with our sunlight disabled With the sunlight enabled, we get a much brighter scene and the shadows are cast. While with a disabled sunlight, we get a warm or cooler scene. There are no shadows cast, just like sunset. Now this time, with our sunlight enabled, let's go to the settings tab and turn off global illumination render and you will get this result click this drop down arrow and you will see three more types of sky models we've been rendering using this type of sky model now let's try this one Using this type of sky model, we'll get this result. The last type of sky model, the CIE overcast. You can create your own sky background by saving your rendered scene as a ping file. Open that ping file in Photoshop. Open another image file to be used as your background. And drag this layer to our background image. It says here that ozone affects the color of the light, values closer to zero make the sunlight yellow, and values closer to one make it blue. Here's our rendered scene, ozone set at zero, 
and turbidity at 2. In this scene, ozone is set at 1. Intensity multiplier affects the brightness of the sun and can be used to reduce the default brightness. In this scene, we have our intensity multiplier set at 1. Let's make this 4 and render. So guys, just check out the difference. The size multiplier affects the sharpness or softness of our shadows. A lower value makes our shadow sharp, while a much higher value makes it softer. So, with a torpidity set at 2, ozone at 1, intensity multiplier at 2, and size multiplier at 2, let's render. This is what I meant of a sharp shadow. The transition between the light and the shadow is so abrupt. But these are realistic shadows. You can see these types of shadows if the sun is just so blaring. And usually it's between 10 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. Now let's make this 40. And render. And here's our soft shadow. Something's wrong with this image. We have a very bright scene that this soft shadow seems to be out of sync. To use this type of shadows, we need to make some scene adjustments. To do that, we will use filter color. Let's slide down this button. This time, for our sky model, we are using a CIE overcast and intensity multiplier is set to 1. Now let's render. Thank you guys for watching and sorry for the late upload. It's been a while since the last one but still more videos to come and for those of you who are new to this channel, subscribe now, click that notification bell so you won't miss any upcoming uploads. I will see you soon. Have a great day.